When I was 35, I decided to come back to further education because I had spent at that time 20 years in the, the baking industry. I uh, covered all aspects of it from small family through to wholesale, through to retail. And I was at a stage that I thought, at 35 year old, I don't want to be doing this when I'm 50 because age restrictions on the physical side of what I was doing were, were, were starting to show. I, I, I looked at how I could change my, uh, my career path. When I came to uh, the Metropolitan College, I, I decided in doing, it was a, a higher national diploma in food technology. Um, it was very, very, very interesting. Absolutely loved my time at the college. Really liked uh, the microbiology section of it because as a baker over 20 years, uh, hygiene was always very, very important. It was always drummed into me. I always drummed it into staff as well when, uh, later on. Uh, you always wash your hands, you always clean up after you, etc. The reasons for that is there's a big why. And to be able to go into the actual technical side and find out about bacteria and how bacteria grow and multiply, uh, and how actually through the handling of foods and cross contamination you can get food poison for pathogenic bacteria and their toxins. I loved learning about all that. So I was classed as a mature student within the class. I also found being classed as a mature student, it didn't isolate me for the rest of the students at all. I actually encouraged them to come to me. I was like I was like the daddy of the group, if you want to put it that way. They'd come to me with their problems and I would sit and basically laugh at them and say, do you want to know what the real problems are being a mature student? Try having a wife, having a daughter, living off a grant, etc. And then you'll know what the real problems are. I really enjoyed my time at the, the Glasgow Metropolitan College. I, th I thought at the time you don't know if you're going to get a job at the end of it, but at least you know you're going to get the qualification that allows you to apply for that job. Nothing's guaranteed in life, um, but for my own personal experience, I'm fortunate enough that I've, I've been able to get a job that I love. You're going to be coming into a climate of continual assessment, um, and it's going to be very difficult. You have to put the work in, but the rewards are excellent because you'll be working with like-minded people who are all striving to achieve the same thing, the same goals as yourself, and the driving point within yourself should be pride, take pride in what you do.